Pull that one. We're not going to pull it and hold it until we pull it and let it go. Ready? We'll do it together. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Cool, huh? You want to try a siren? Okay. We'll do it together. See this thing? Go ahead and put your hand on my hand. We'll twist it. Did you have fun with Grandma and Papa? Uh-huh. And where are we going now? To the mad farm. We're going to the farm. Don't, don't. Monroe County Traffic Twin Cessna 771 Bravo Charlie is entering runway 23 to back taxi for a full length departure runway 23 VFR departure to the northwest Monroe County. Monroe County Traffic, Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is departing runway 23, right turn out to the northwest, Monroe County. Got mowers on the ends of the runway. All right, baby, you ready? Making good fuel flows. Airspeed's alive. 60. 70. 80. 90. Rotate. Tap the brakes. Gear coming up. Damper on. And we're going to climb out in between these two ridges until we get a little altitude. Cherokee traffic, Archer 05 Victor's on a 7 mile final on the RNAT 3 Cherokee. Monroe County Traffic Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is two miles southwest of the airport, turning right to, to depart the area to the northwest, climbing through 2000, Monroe. Have a good flight, Bravo Charlie. See you, Colbert. That was Papa. See you, Dad. Knoxville Approach Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie off Monroe County with request. Air 771, Bravo Charlie, Knoxville approach, Knoxville, altimeter 299 or 9 or 9 request. 299 or 9 we got an IFR on file uh, going up to Monroe, Wisconsin, off of Monroe County, Tennessee. One Bravo Charlie, Squawk 1115, stay altitude leaving. Squawk in 1115, we're leaving 3,200 for 8,000. And when can I fly? Hold on one second, baby. One Bravo Charlie, radar contact three miles west of Monroe County Airport, through to Echo Foxtrot Tango Airport, via direct, climb maintain 8,000. Uh, via direct, climb and maintain 8,000, clear to Echo Fox Tango, One Bravo Charlie, thank you. One Bravo Charlie, like three back, correct. And one Bravo Charlie, request 10,000. One Bravo Charlie, let uh, center know your request, contact Atlanta Center 133.6. 336, one Bravo Charlie, we'll go. 125.902. Altitude 200. 25, decimal 9 or 2. Have a good day. Dot com 4046. Center Twin Cessna 771. Bravo Charlie's with you. 8000. Request 10 10,000. 771. Bravo Charlie. Atlanta Center. Roger. Have your request. And are you still deviating? Yeah, we're 10 degrees left. Uh, if we could get up to 10, we'd be on course. Stand by. Center Envoy 4205. Checking in 13000. Uh, uniform. Number one, Bravo Charlie, climb, maintain one zero thousand. One, Bravo Charlie, climb into one zero ten thousand. Thank you. All right, y'all. Well, we had 
loads of fun visiting the grandparents. First time been down to Teleco Village where the parents moved to. Koa Bear's grandparents. Got to see the uh, Got to see Koopy. And we were thinking about leaving tomorrow morning or this afternoon. Koa Bear said he wanted to go to the farm. Jamie and Eli are out at the farm. And his buddies are all out there, so we're going to head up to Monroe, Wisconsin. We're currently we have a brutal headwind. We're two and a half hours away with four and a half hours of gas. So we got Air plenty of fuel. Plenty of fuel for the flight. Kind of give a quick update on where we're at and how things are going. Currently we're level here at one zero ten thousand. We filed for eight. Eight was in this stuff. This stuff is bumpy. When you guys are on the ground and you see clouds that look like cotton balls. Not fall clouds tend to be bumpy. But when you're up here at the tops of them, in the heat of the day at one zero thousand, it could be even bumpier. So, if 10 doesn't work, we're gonna get back below them. I'm just was looking for smooth air. And you guys are getting familiar with seeing this site right here, which is my tuckered out polar bear. Old Tacoa, he loves flying and he loves sleeping. He likes mixing the two together. So there we go. It's the view of the office today. Pretty sure I showed this before, but here's the ox tanks or the uh, fuel selectors, the left fuel selector and the right fuel selector. On uh, they point to each tip. So on the left one, the left side says main. Straight up says ox, which we're on right now. Turn it to the right to cross speed from the left engine from the right main and then straight back for off and it's the same for the other side just in reverse so I've got my timer here I burn about an hour out of them at an hour three or so the engine starts sputtering so I do an hour so what we do is we put the fuel and pumps here at with, these are the uh, auxiliary Chile. fuel pumps put them on no. low and we'll switch that back to the main we'll glance over here and make sure we have fuel pressure even though those needles aren't so great you look at it here as well and if we're good we'd like to go to the fuel pump glance again and that's what the process is number one Robert Charlie safe flight this Sorry, one brother Charlie, you caught me while I was switching fuel tanks there. Uh, the flight conditions, um, it's scattered. The tops are right at about uh, 10, between 10 and 10-2, and they're pretty bumpy in the tops of them. Uh, they're kind of growing a little bit with the afternoon heating, but when you're not in the tops of these clouds, it's nice and smooth. Number one Bravo Charlie, Roger, thank you. And uh, um, November 6, 7, 2, 9, or 6, that uh, higher up was about 20 miles, sir. 15 miles south of your position, northwest bound 10,000. I don't know if I can get this, but he's sporting his 310 pilot gear. Look, got his little 310 pilot shirt on. Mr. Guy. Okay, the view of the office again. As you guys heard in that fire up, Tops are right at between 10 and 10-2. So, I kind of like when they let me have, when you're out here away from all the traffic, no big deal to turn 10 left or right to avoid the tops of these clouds. Just kind of bumpy. Who's that? This thing? It's called a pulse ox, baby. So, you could check how much oxygen is in your blood, because when you get really high in the sky, up above where we're at now, we're at 10,000. It gets, the air gets thinner, so there's less, there's less oxygen saturation in your blood. So it's good just to keep a look at to make sure that you're above 90. 
And if you come down to less than 90, then Daddy would descend. But at 10,000, it never really matters. Daddy's right at 97. Let's see what you're at. Put your finger in there. Hey, just put your finger in there, all the way. Just this finger. Yeah. And just leave it until you see numbers. Just be still. There you go. Hold on. You got a... 704. Yeah, it's tough on little fingers, but it got your pulse there for a little bit. Has this been a nice flight for you? Uh-huh. I'm glad you're having a nice flight. Thank you for flying Dad Airlines. <laughs> I hope you come back and enjoy us again. Thank you for treating your flight crew with love. <laughs> How much did it cost for this ticket on Dad Airways? It cost... $198.58. Nope. What do you pay Daddy in when it costs something? Kisses. Kisses? Yeah. <laughs> it cost five kisses and five hugs. I bet the next frequency is going to be 2375. That's my guess. Hey, twin Sister, one Bravo Sierra, uh, Christian, Twin Sister, one Bravo Charlie, are you still DVDing or are you direct now? I'm really close to direct right now. There's a couple more zigs and zags I see up here, but I'll stay really close to the course if that's okay. Hey, twin Sister, one Bravo Charlie, Roger. A deviation's up to 10 degrees left or right of course or approved. If you need any further deviations, so let me know. Nope, that works perfect for me. Thank you, sir. I gave us 10 left and right, of course. Which works out really well. As we snake these last couple of gaps here, hopefully. The arrival goes right above us here into O'Hare at 12,000 feet. Maybe we'll see him. As we get a little closer, 26, 11, 15 miles from the arrival now. India to maintain 6,000. Direct Andy cross at 6,000. 26, Oh, there they are. Huh. That plane right there is an American Airlines airplane. Yeah. Probably a 737-800. Southwest 25-92. Contact Chicago Approach 1-1 at point three. That's pretty cool. Visibility is good because he is 15, 15 miles away when we see him. Southwest 263, Chicago Center Cross Indy, head and maintain 6,000. Fly the yeah, runway 3-1 center transition. Midway altimeter 2-9-9-4. One of what things? Can we buy a fleet that does a flip so we can have two flips? Do you want to buy an airplane that does flips? Southwest 2198 Yeah, baby, one day we'll buy an airplane that goes upside down, okay? Does that sound fun? And for Rockford, can one Bravo Charlie get lower yet? One Bravo Charlie, correction, number one Bravo Charlie, uh, just stand by one second. UPS 2486, contact Chicago Center 133.35 today. 335, UPS 2486. Number one, one Bravo Charlie, descend at pop discretion, maintain 6,000. One Bravo Charlie, thank you, sir. PD to 6,000. I just got my young boy on that didn't want to hurt his ears. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. All right, 6,000. Vertical speed down. Zero golf hotel, Roger. Number three pop golf traffic, guys, you inside. Three pop golf, thank you. Now we're going to go into fast mode. We are going in fast mode, baby. Yeah, but we're getting full throttle. We are full throttle, baby. Yeah, but all the way full throttle. <laughs> it is, I promise you. This uh, is the throttle and it's full, it's all the way. Yeah, but how did you go faster? There's the Rockford Airport. What? The Rockford Airport, that's where Aunt B works. She works airplanes in and out of Rockford. 
Where's Rockford? It's just the name of that airport, Rockford. Rockford is the name of that airport. Oh, and show that up with that. That's where Aunt B does her air traffic control. The controller we're talking to right now, that's where they're at. They're at that airport. Got a pretty good view of the nuclear plant. Can I see this? Yeah, baby, you can show it off for a little bit. Because I get just that narrating. Twin Cessna 1 Bravo Charlie, descent upon discretion, maintain 4,000. PD to 4 1 Bravo Charlie, thank you. Yeah, slow down, dude. It's starting to get rough. You have to thank you for the report. Down. Daddy, who has to slow down? Daddy does. Alright, report to Alright, for one Bravo Charlie, we can go ahead and cancel uh, go VFR the rest of the way. Thanks for your help. So I'm rolling one Bravo Charlie, I for cancellation received. And uh, B Advisor is a target just west of Monroe Airport, 3,700 indicated yeah. eastbound. Radar services are terminated, oh, squawk wow. VFR, and change advisors approved. Have to go. One Bravo Charlie, copy all, squawk at 1200. Have a good day. See ya. That's my Uncle Matt's farm is right off the nose right there. Oh, I see it, Kyle. Yeah, all that they had to do. You can see the pond. I can see the semi truck. Yeah. I can see the shop now. I can see the white shop and the white semi truck. Yeah. I can see a field, Dad. So these are where, I'm going to record now, Dad. I'll, okay. I should record now. Yeah, for just a minute. Me. Push the button one time. Like an L traffic. Okay. What? A63 Papa, short final runway, 86, uh, low approach only. If you guys can see Here, that. Here, let me, let me see it real quick. Down there, right off the nose. If you guys can see the farm. If you guys can see that, there's the hangar, there's the pond. That's yeah. the farm that we'll be at. Yep. But we're not going to a different farm because right we don't there. know who from the... There's the airport. All right, Daddy's going to disconnect the autopilot and fly it, okay, baby? Kay. It's going to beep. So we can fly? Yeah, Daddy's going to fly it a bit. Do so you want to fly it for just a little bit? All right, you can fly it for just a little bit. You're doing good, baby. All right, kind of roll out level here for just a little bit. Monroe traffic, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is five miles south. Be entering left down one three zero Monroe. You're doing good, baby. You like flying, don't you? All right, we gotta, we gotta, you gotta straighten up the wings, baby. We gotta straighten up, baby. There we go. Like that for just a little bit. That's a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, can Daddy fly because we're going to land? Good job, give me five. Do you like the flying? There's the airport right but there. But I'm baby. just learning to be a fireman though. Oh, you're learning to be a fireman? Yeah. And a, but you can have, you can make a lot of jobs, you know. Yeah. Like, I want to be a, a pilot and a fireman. Yep. I wish I could stand on the wing and do a backflip off with the parachute. You actually can do it, but we have to buy a real parachutes and we don't know how to do that. Right, Dad? Right, baby. Okay. Monroe traffic, Twin Cessna 771, Bravo, Charlie is turning left down on runway 30, Monroe. Please don't tell me you're doing a side flip. I'm not, baby. Monroe traffic, twin Cessna 1, Bravo, Charlie's turning final, runway 30, Monroe. Oh, that was... Man, I 
they kind of tickles. You're it, like, it kind of tickles you. It kind of tickles your pee pee because like, it's going down and then your pee pee goes up and down. Yeah, in your stomach. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Monroe traffic, Twin Cessna 1 Bravo, Charlie, short final, 30 Monroe. We did it, baby. We made a nice landing for you. Yeah. People can't just come on this runway. Like random people. Their trucks can never go on runways. Dad, trucks can never go on runways. Yeah, baby, trucks can't go on runways. Man, it's 67 here, it's nice. Oh, now I Yeah, you can take your headphones off, baby. Hey, give me a high five. We made it to the farm. <laughs>